Israel reportedly added to its air defense with the advanced HAD anti-missile system after the Iron Dome was considered fragile enough to withstand Hezbollah attacks. As is known, Hezbollah again broke into Israel's air defense in a drone attack on Sunday 10-13, 2024. The attack targeted the Golani Brigade base in Binyamina Givet Ada, near Haifa District, northern Israel. This is the third time Israel's Iron Dome has been breached in the last two weeks. One week earlier, this air defense was successfully penetrated by Hezbollah attacks on the cities of Haifa and Tiberias, and on October 1, 2024, the Iron Dome also appeared overwhelmed when fending off around 180 missiles from Iran. This condition made Israel ask for help from the United States us to send TAD. What is TAD? TAD, or Terminal High Altitude Area Defense, is a U.S. ballistic missile defense system produced by Lockheed Martin. TAD is the only U.S. defense system designed to intercept targets outside and inside the atmosphere. Quoted from the official Lockheed Martin website, TAD is a highly effective and battle-tested defense system against short, medium, an intermediate-range ballistic missile threat. The first concept of TAD was created in 1987 by the U.S. military, before then appointing Lockheed Martin to develop TAD in 1992. TAD was first tested from 1995 to 1999, but was only first used by the U.S. military in 2008. To operate TED, around 95 soldiers are needed who are included in the operating system called battery. Each TAD battery usually consists of six truck, mounted launchers, 48 interceptors, and radar equipment. The Israeli military is currently known to operate seven TAD batteries, especially in areas facing high ballistic missile threats. TAD development began in the late 1980s as part of the United States strategic defense program to enhance the country's ability to counter the growing ballistic missile threat. The system was implemented with the aim of protecting a wide area including military bases, strategic infrastructure, and civilian populations from possible short to medium range ballistic missile attacks. The TAD program gained particular attention after the 1991 Gulf War, when the threat of enemy ballistic missiles became a serious threat to us forces and allies in the Middle East. The TAD program then began testing in the early 1990s and successfully underwent several live fire tests. In 2008, the system officially entered active service and has been installed in several strategic locations around the world. Main components of the TAD system The TAD system consists of several main components that play an important role in detecting, tracking and destroying ballistic missiles. And TPY-2 radar, this X-band radar, is the heart of the TAD system, which functions to detect and track targets from a distance. The NTPY-2 has the capability to identify ballistic missiles and distinguish between active missiles and harmless debris. It also works in conjunction with other radar systems such as Aegis Ballistic Missile Defense and Surveillance Satellites to improve detection accuracy and range. TAD Launchers TAD uses mobile launchers mounted on trucks, allowing it to be moved to multiple locations quickly. Each launcher can carry eight interceptor missiles, and a TAD battery typically has multiple launchers to increase the ability to respond to multiple missile threats simultaneously. TAD interceptor missiles These missiles are designed without warheads. The interceptor system relies on kinetic energy, meaning the TAD missiles directly hit their targets at high speed to destroy them. 
This hit-to-kill approach reduces the risk of uncontrolled explosions and avoids unwanted secondary damage. Battle management system This component is the command and control center of the TAD system, coordinating the operations of the radars, launchers, and interceptor missiles. This system allows operators to respond to threats in real time, including analyzing radar data and directing interceptor missiles to predetermined targets. How TAD works when the NTPY-2 radar detects a ballistic missile entering the defense zone, the TAD system will immediately lock onto the target and start tracking. After the threat analysis is complete, the battle control system directs the interceptor missile launched from the mobile launcher to destroy the target. TAD missiles with speeds of more than Mach 8, about 9,800 kmh, fly towards the target and hit it at high altitudes usually outside the Earth's atmosphere. With this capability, THAAD provides quite effective protection against short and medium-range ballistic missiles. You go check them, Mark. Its main focus is to destroy missiles before they re-enter the Earth's atmosphere or in the early stages of re-entry, so that the impact of their destruction does not occur in the target area. Add advantages and strengths of THAAD. High mobility. The TAD system is designed for high mobility. Each launcher can be quickly moved to another location using a truck, so it can be adjusted to operational needs. High effectiveness with the hit-to-kill approach. This approach relies on kinetic energy to destroy enemy missiles. The advantage is that it reduces the risk of unwanted explosions, as well as minimizing damage to the target's surroundings. Flexible operational capabilities TAD can operate in conjunction with other air defense systems, such as Aegis BMD and Patriot. This flexibility allows for integration into a wider defense network, creating a stronger layer of protection. Long detection range with the NTPY-2 radar, TAD is able to detect targets from very long distances and provide sufficient time to decide on appropriate defensive action. TAD is an important component in the United States air defense system, designed to provide protection against ballistic missile threats. With its advanced capabilities, including the hit-to-kill, approach, high mobility, and wide radar coverage, TAD is one of the reliable layers of protection for the U.S. and its allies. However, high costs and geopolitical challenges continue to accompany it, making THAAD one of the defense projects that is always in the spotlight on the international scene.